One of the most important ways I've found I've grown in my faith is by doing something really simple that's also extraordinary, reading my Bible. It says that the Bible is like daily bread to us, that it feeds our hearts and souls. And it's been in reading my Bible that I've found more to know and love about the person and work of Jesus Christ. So I'd like to just encourage you in three really simple things. One, find a Bible. You can go super old school and get a paper copy like mine. I'm very into it. Or you can check out any one of the online resources, including YouVersion, the Bible app, Bible Gateway, EnduringWord.com, BlueLetterBible.com, or any of the other websites out there available for you to read. Read in a translation that's right for you, where the language makes sense to the way you would hear and understand. Two, when you get your Bible, it might feel a little bit intimidating to have something as big as this. So I'd say pick one of the books to start with. I often start with the Gospel of Mark because it's the story of the life of Jesus and it's jam-packed with action. Over and over again, we see the way that Jesus lives and in his life, we see the power, the authority, and the eternal transformation that happens through his sacrificial death and resurrection. And third, I would say read the Bible with friends. I found that reading the Bible in community has helped me to learn, to grow, to understand, and to discover more about my faith than if I read it by myself. So wherever you're at in your faith journey, one of the most important things I believe you can do is read your Bible. There's an old children's song that I used to sing growing up that said, read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. And our prayer for you is that you would grow in faith in every way. I would encourage you to find a Bible, to choose some place to start, and to read it in community so that you can grow in your faith.